ADATA XPG V2 memory kits are optimized for the latest Intel gaming platforms. Check the link in the video description for more details. Maybe it's being presumptuous of me, but I'm pretty sure that this is a hotly anticipated unboxing from me, the Razer Hammerhead Pro. Okay, so what are they calling this? <clears throat> Expert Analog Gaming and Music In-Ear Headset. So the difference between the Hammerhead Pro and the regular Hammerhead is very simple. It's a microphone. So the regular Hammerhead is exactly the same product except no inline microphone and no call control. All right, what else do they have to say about this themselves? Right on Razer's website, it says, <clears throat> hammering the bass. It's called the Hammerhead. This is made for bass heads. So it should be noted right out of the bat, right out of the gate, that just because I don't particularly like the sound signature, it shouldn't take away from the fact that you may enjoy the sound signature of this headset if you enjoy a ton of bass. I personally prefer a more balanced sound where there's a good mix of high, mids, and lows, but some people just want to hear it pound, whether it's explosions or whether it's, um, you know, just heavy bass tracks or whatever else the case may be, music, movies, games, you want to hear it go. So there we go. What's included? You get uh, a little picture of your new headphones slash headset as well as a letter. All right. That's cool, you get a quick start guide, although quite frankly, if you need a quick start guide for headphones, then uh, it should probably come with a guide for how to tie your shoes. Um, and then next up, we've got the actual headphones themselves. So there's a hard carrying case. I personally don't really find myself using these too much. I, I do prefer to just kind of chuck my headphones in my pocket because I'm lazy like that, but some people do use them and it's nice to have a little uh, spot here where you can put some of the accessories and keep them separate from the headphones themselves so you don't risk losing them. Speaking of accessories, this accessory right here is an audio splitter. I like seeing this included with headphones. I particularly like seeing a nice high quality one. So there, that is machined aluminum and then it has like a nice, uh, a nice knurled finish on both of the ends here so that you can really grab onto it. And then you've got a bright green wire running to the headphone and microphone jacks, which are both clearly labeled as well as having color coded bands on them. Next up, we've got the headphones themselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull those out and put them aside for now. Razor's so good at packaging. Look how nicely presented all of this is. I love that. Although some of their older packaging used to be a little bit better than some of their newer stuff. They used to, you could tell, you just looked at it and you went, wow, they spent a ton on this package. And these days they're, they're moving away from that a little bit and they're giving in and using plastic here and there, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, you know, seeing companies spend more on the product itself and then finding creative ways to make the packaging look good without, uh, without overspending on it. It's definitely, definitely positive. So you get three different sizes of standard silicone ear tips. So you get a large, medium, and small. This is pretty standard these days with most everyone including at least three different sizes. I'd love to see, you know, it's kind of like the race to higher DPI on mice or the race to any number of different things on mice. I'd love to see the race to more uh, ear tip inclusions. So it's like, well, you guys are gonna have three. Well, I'm gonna have seven different sizes of ear tips included. So everyone from like Andre the Giant down to uh, my son who's 15 months old will be able to have the optimal fit. Actually, it's not even necessarily a bad idea. Razor, if you're watching this, let's see the Hammerhead Elite with like 16 different ear tip sizes because that's my wife's biggest complaint about IEMs is that none of them really fit her right. So there you go. Uh, speaking of ear tips that fit correctly, let's go ahead and check this out. So it uses nine millimeters neodymium drivers so you can actually see those if you go ahead and remove the ear tip and then they include a fourth ear tip so this is a an optional bi flange so Razer saying this provides superior fit noise isolation and bass response by giving you two two layers here so see there's two basically two standard silicone ear tips in one so that I don't know let's find out you know what? They're a little bit big for me. I do tend to wear the smallest size that's included with whatever earbuds that uh, that I do use. So I'm going to go ahead and put the small ones on. Maybe we can uh, 
get a little bit of a sort of model shot. So you can hopefully see the earphones themselves. If not, we'll do an overlay. So they're using the same machined aluminum construction, a very striking green look to them overall. Razer's so good at product aesthetics. I find that with the bi-flange, it doesn't go quite as far into my ear canal as it does with the single small ear tip. So I would probably end up using the small ones. But if you were going to use a medium size one anyway, give the bi-flange a try because it, uh, it might end up being a better experience for you. So inline controls, you only find this on the Pro version. So there is a single omnidirectional microphone right here, as well as a single button for answering calls and voice control and all those things that you'll expect to do on your Android or iOS device. So when I first fired them up, I had a ballad on my phone that was playing. And uh, I gotta say, the mids and highs, they're quite lacking compared to the bass. When they said hammering the bass, that's what they meant. Made for bass heads, whether you appreciate bass in your music, movies, or games, you will appreciate the bass here. The overall impressions that they leave me with are that compared to most fashion headphones that you'd find in that $50 price range where they're all show and no go, the Razors have as much show as those headphones, especially with the machined aluminum fittings, whether they're down here, whether they're the housings of the ear tips themselves, or whether it's even the things like the adapters or the inline microphone without being too heavy because they have used aluminum. It's a, it's a great overall balance. So they have the show and they have more go than I'd say most headphones do in that sort of product category where you go to the local future shop or Best Buy and you're kind of like show me headphones and they start at around $30 to and $50 you get kind of stuff that really isn't very good. I would definitely recommend these over that. I want to do a quick microphone test here so we're just going to play back a quick audio clip for you guys and I think that pretty much wraps it up. So here we go recording. So Thank you for checking out this unboxing and first look at the Razer Hammerhead. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Click that like button on the video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know, do you prefer a more balanced soundstage or do you prefer just rocking it out and having as much bass as you can possibly have? Thanks, guys.